What's happening, people? So, it's finally in the books. They telling us about the Ultra Instinct Goku that has basically the old 2.0 body, but a new Toyotaro head sculpt. Now, we knew this was coming out. We just didn't know when. Scheduled release, it says. It's February 24th, but, you know, we, we're going to kick it, discuss a little bit, and, you know, do our thing. Now, the pre-orders, as, as I speak, is already up on Premium Bandai, if you didn't already know. So, if you want it, definitely go and get it. But, there's a couple things I wanted to say about this Goku and what it can mean for, potentially, even the future of this line. So, now, we are on the Premium Bandai website. And, as you can see, $80. At this point, <laughs> y'all know what it is. I'm not going to beat y'all over the head too much about that we already know what it is when it comes to the prices especially premium bandai prices it seems very arbitrary and whatnot now one thing i'll say the uh wind blown hair looks pretty good decent the hair in general looks nice these things tend to look better in uh what you call it person now one thing i will say is that i've noticed in a lot of these poses they have Goku in multiple different poses from the manga. Like this one in particular, I'll put the picture up when he punched Jiren in the stomach in the manga. And what I wanted to get to is this. At first, I remember when this was first revealed, I was like, oh, I missed the opportunity, man. They could have gave him a brand new mold if they're going to do this. However, the thing about it is it's not really a missed opportunity. Once again, last chance to use this mold. They give us a new head sculpt. But there's plenty of different variations of Ultra Instinct Goku that they could do. I don't mean in terms of like a brand new form or anything, but just in terms of the outfit. Because as you can see, the picture that this pose is based off of, he had the Ultra Instinct form, but he still had his blue undershirt on. Something as simple as that. They could do a whole brand new figure on that. And you can see that the hairstyle is a little bit different. Because, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku, they, they tend to kind of play it and shoot from the hip sometimes with the hairstyle. Like, it, genu it generally looks the same most times, but so, uh, it, it's, they're distinguishable from each other is what I'm saying. Now, this pose, uh, this looks like a Moro arc pose, but I could be uh, wrong. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing, the Moro arc. And then we're also going to get into one of the some of the stuff that this figure comes with, but... The moral arc in itself, I'll post a picture, but he has that scar on his chest, if you know, from the moral arc, and half his shirt is torn. The half showing chest, half, you know, yeah, y'all get what I'm trying to say. Half the shirt is torn, and what does that mean? Easy, easy enough for a new figure. So, what I'm basically saying is that there will be plenty of opportunity for them to do upgraded versions of Ultra Instinct, depending on how they want to play it. Also, before I get into what this mean, could mean for the future of the line, let's get into the accessories, then we'll jump back to that. So, the main thing with this release is that you're getting some type of special booklet, fully supervised by Toyotaro Sensei, who worked on a manga of Dragon Ball Super, Son Goku Ultra Instinct Toyotaro Edition, is now available from SH Figure Arts. Two head parts and four facial expression parts are newly modeled to reproduce the Sun Goku Ultra Instinct form drawn by Toyotaro Sensei. The coloring is also based on the image of the, the manga Dragon Ball Super and was fully supervised by Toyotaro Sensei. How many times did they say fully supervised by Toyotaro Sensei in that one little paragraph? What's more, we included the Dragon Ball SH Figure SH Figurepedia by V-Jump Books that summarizes 171 items of the SH Figures Dragon Ball series. This not only includes illustrated pages showing the SH Figures Dragon Ball series, but interviews with Toyotaro Sensei and with the planning staff and so on. Also, they're available in 144 pages that are well worth the read. Now, I hope that's true. I'm going to come back to that real quick. But let's talk about this. Main body interchangeable hands slash left slash right times three types interchangeable expression parts four types interchangeable head parts dragon ball super figurepedia v jump book i kind of want the book more than i want the figure i'm not gonna lie to you but 
I think it would be nice to have as well. Of course, product might vary differently. Product info, let's see. Specifications, all right. All right, all that other stuff is irrelevant. I wanted to come back to this, right? So, they say interviews from Toyo Taro. Now, I hope it's not the BS interview questions that they sometimes ask these authors. Oh, what type of coffee do you like to drink when you're drawing the manga? <laughs> Man, if you don't get that uh, bum ass question out of here, I'd be hating stuff like that. What made you decide to draw Goku with his biceps bigger this time? Man, if you don't get that pussy ass, bum ass, I know I'm cursing a lot, but if you don't get that out of here, I hate when they ask silly stuff like that. Hopefully you get some in insight into the manga, but I don't see what that would have to do with figures. But hey, you never know. I know that uh, for the, a long time, Toyotaro actually had his own customized uh, bell mod figure, the God of Destruction from Universe 11. So who knows, we might see that in the future. But, no, well, definitely in the future. But with that being said, what does this mean for the future of SH Figure Arts figures. I think the biggest thing that this could mean, and I talk with my guy Cyrus about this, and he's talked to me in bursts about his worries about the Dragon Ball line, and that it's headed down the route of the Gundam model kits. Now the thing about the Gundam model kits is they have several variations to the same, I guess, uh, mech suit, right? So it'll be <laughs> all like all these different artists that is based off of this artwork is based off of that artwork. And I think this is the heralding of the beginning of that with this Toyotaro edition Ultra Instinct Goku. In the future, I could easily see Toriyama based on the original Toriyama artwork. Uh, Orange Piccolo Toriyama edition because I feel like Orange Piccolo's proportions were a bit more like he had that suit, a lot more tapered waist you know skinnier towards the waist look and the toriyama artwork now you know it could be toriyama gohan beast i mean gohan beast toriyama edition so this just opens up <laughs> a world of possibilities for that now i personally like that but at the same time they already Juice us. They already started double dipping like with the Namek Saga Goku, right? Where I thought for the longest time that the half shirt torn Goku was going to be our main Ma Namek Saga Goku for a while to come. And then <laughs> and then they give us the shirtless, completely shirtless Goku with the big shoulders and big biceps and everything from the Namek Saga. So you, you can really never really predict what is gonna come i'm not gonna say you can't predict what's gonna come next but you can never really tell if oh well this figure get an upgrade sometimes you don't know but i say that to say i'm not saying that it can't be predictable but with something like this what i'm saying is that you'll probably we're very likely to get multiple variations of the same figure especially in the future uh, I don't know if it's a key animator in the anime or the, a movie It could be I don't know. Uh, I'm blanking on the main animators names, but let's say Yuya Takahashi edition Super Saiyan Goku or Ultra Instinct Goku or Ultra Ego Vegeta, you know The sky is really the limit with this, but what do you guys think about that? How do y'all feel about different? Figures based off of different artworks. Now, I feel like with third party, was we've already been kind of touching in that realm, especially if you look at the DL Customs Goku Blackhead sculpts, because those are like quite very clearly based off of Toyotaro's drawings of Goku Black. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. Indeed, if you still are, and you are dismissed. Goodbye. Now, guys, before you go, Press 1 if you got that reference, whether it's in the live or in the comment section. Peace.